Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So let's talk about implication in logic and why it's really wrong and it's not even logical. Okay, so I mean, to put those two words together is just incoherent gibberish. Okay, so given the definition, of course, of implication in logic. Now, some mainstream sources will tell you that uh, Emile Leon Post and Charles Sanders were amongst the first to put together the early form of truth tables. And of course, don't know how true this is, but it's reported by mainstream sources. And then of course, that prize idiot Ludwig Wittgenstein in his Tractatus uh, apparently was the person who put these garbage concepts on the map. And from there onwards, they were inserted into mathematics. Now, other mainstream sources say that George Bull is a foundational figure. And of course, Bull worked with operations such as and, or, and not. And so Bull thought of these as follows. So if you had two statements, he, he tried to convert true and false statements into mathematics. So and or the product of two truth values would be one approach in combining true and false statements through this uh, use of conjunctives such as and, or, and not, okay. Then the truth table for implies is stated, simp stated simply as follows, that if you have propositions A and B, then not A or B is the implication table. And one particular, one particularly false or confusing combination of these inputs is when we have both A and B false and it, <laughs> A implies B turns out to be true. Okay, so one must, and I'll get to that in a moment, by the way, I'm, I'm not done with that, but in a moment I'll get to it. So one must always bear in mind that set theory and logic, which are very tightly intertwined, are not mathematics, okay? they have crept into math mathematics, which is the abstract science of measure and number. So let's see how the sum total of mainstream ideas are just a pile of rubbish. And we can do this because if we go to chat GPT-4, it's basically uh, a repository of all mainstream ideas, okay? The garbage that you'll find on Reddit, on Quora, on Wikipedia, and all those other bullshit sites. So I ask GPT to explain in very simple terms what A implied B means so that a child can understand and to describe what A and B are, that is propositions, and then state how the implies truth table makes sense for each of the inputs. So it says, sure, let's explain it. So it says A and B are both statements that can be true or false, okay? Now, please pay attention to that. They can be true or false. This is problematic in mathematics, and you'll see why in a moment. So <clears throat> it comes along here and it repeats all the mainstream drivel, no problem. And then it says, in summary, the key point is, the key point is if the first statement A is false for the false false inputs, then the implication is always true, no matter what the second statement B is, okay? So then I say, I tell, I prompt uh, GPT by telling it, the word imply in ordinary language indicates the truth or existence of something by suggestion rather than explicit reference, okay? So if A is false, then it implies nothing about B being true or false. So let's see how it responds. So then it says, in formal logic, Dear, not skip way ahead. So let's just get back to that. In formal logic, the 
the term implies has a specific definition and starts repeating itself again. It gives a definition here and I just stop it because I don't like repetition. Geniuses usually don't like repetition at all, by the way. So it's apparent then that in logic, the word imply does not mean implication at all, <laughs> which is pretty strange because, you know, if somebody was a rational or logical person, person, you would think that they would use words that contain or point to the attributes of what they want to discuss rather than something totally different. So GPT says in logic that the term imply has a specific formal meaning that differs from its everyday usage. Well, why on earth use the word imply then? Why not create a brand new word and say limply, for example, <laughs> because or logic, logically or some garbage like that, okay, because it doesn't mean anything to do with imply. So then it ends up by saying this formal definition doesn't require causal or suggestive connection between A, B. That is typical hand-waving bullshit by set theory professors and logicians. It's actually a red herring because it distracts and obfuscates and doesn't answer the question. So my response to that is, given your claims, formal logic is not part of mathematics because in mathematics, an implication does not only suggest a causation, but directly implies it. Did you get that? In mathematics, an implication does not only suggest a causation, but directly implies it. And let's see how. If x plus 3 equals to 5, then x is equal to 2 is true, where a is the proposition x plus 3 equals 5, and b is the proposition x is equal to 2. Okay, so stop your video here and just think carefully about what I've written there because GPT is about to respond to that. So then it says, GPT says, in mathematics, implications often describe direct relationships based on mathematical properties. And here's a clear example. And then it says, it goes through the example, and it says, when x plus 3 equals 5 is true, then x plus 2 is also true. And then it says, when x plus 3 is equal to 5 is false. Just stop and pause there. So I'm getting to the end of my tether. It's like I'm dealing with one of these mainstream moronic professors, I would just slap them in the face and say, how can when x plus 3 equal 5 ever be false, you utter imbecile, you moron? It cannot be false, okay? But this is the typical confused bullshit in a mainstream mathematics professor's brain and in your teacher's brain, they're morons. And the ironic part is they don't know that they're morals. Oh, suddenly ChatGPT says, you're correct, I misspoke. You didn't misspeak, you idiotic lump of shit. You, you basically regurgitated the sewer crap in mainstream mathematics professors and teachers' brains. So it says in the context of a specific equation, this, by the way, is its program, which contains bullshitting and hand-waving 101, okay? You don't say you misspoke. You talked shit, basically. That's what happened, okay? So then it says an equation like x plus 3 equals 5 is either true or false based on the value of x, okay? So then... It comes along here and it says, for the equation x plus 3 is equal to 5, if a is true, then solving for x gives x plus 2. There's no if a is true <laughs> because it is, because a, a directly implies that x is equal to 2, okay? So the, you don't get to substitute values in here like this stupid bot thinks because that's how mainstream professors think. There's no substitution here in x. Okay. You don't put things in there. It's like you don't put zero in x over x because x over x means one, you fucking morons. Do you understand that? It means nothing else. So 
the confusion just continues with these baboons of mainstream mathematics academia. And, you, you know, you would just want to take the one and smack him through the face and then before you finish, smack the other one through the face and knock them over the head with something so that they can put on some brains because they're basically pretty brainless. Okay. So, and it ends here with saying, with saying logical implication tables or abstract tools. They're, they're, they're not even tools. They're just sewer, sewage that comes out of the syphilitic brains of mainstream mathematics academics, and they have no place. They have no place in mathematics, okay? So what I'm trying to tell you then is that in mathematics, if A and B are, are propositions or statements, then B will only be true if A is true, okay? So in other words, there's no way that this second one here where I'm pointing can be true, and there's no way, <laughs> there's no way that the third or the fourth can be true either, okay? So B can only be true with this first line here. So if A is true, then B is true. If A is not true, then B cannot be true, okay? So the, yes, there is causation in mathematics, and that's uh, why you cannot take drivel that occurs in mainstream mathematics brains and fools like, you know, Gilbert Strang, Terence Dahl, uh, Jackie Hazinger, that fat pig from Harvard, and many others. Okay, so look, it's just total garbage. You don't want to be wasting your time on evaluating expressions like this because it's not part of mathematics. And that's all I have to say. If you're not already a subscriber, become one. Click like, by the way, because I have many enemies and they have blacklisted me and earmarked me for deletion. <laughs> also, visit my academia site and subscribe to get notified every time I upload a new article. I'm John Gabriel and this is New Calculus Channel. Till next time.